हेलो फ्रेंड दिस रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सी बी वीडियो सीरीज ऑन स्ट्रिंग रिलेटेड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस इज अबाउट फाइंड इफ द स्ट्रिंग इज पैलिंड्रम और नॉट सो लेट्स सपोज यू हैव सम स्ट्रिंग ए बी ए बी ए सो इज दिस पैलिंड्रम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस पैलिंड्रम वर्ड इज एंड या आई नो दिस इज लिटिल बिगेनर क्वेश्चन फॉर माई चैनल बिकॉज आई मोस्टली टीच एडवांस स्टफ बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कीप बिगनर्स अवे फ्रॉम माई चैनल और just keeping these advanced stuff no i want to keep a full list so this is also one of the interview question and i'll be keeping all these things in the beginning so that you will be able to understand like okay this is a starting level question and if you want to skip you can skip but if you don't know this then it is important for you because if you are a fresher or maybe one or two years of experience they would definitely ask this and you won't believe this palindrom question was asked to an 8 plus years of experience guy and now you can imagine so it's not about easy or hard it's just the logic they want to see like how you implement stuff so nothing is hard nothing is advanced nothing is easy we will learn everything so with that being said let's get back to our palindrome what is palindrome palindrome meaning these two characters should be same these two characters should be same like if you read this string from back it will be like same if you read from the front that is palindrome so is this palindrome a b a yes it is because from here also it is a b a and from here also it is a b a is this palindrome c b a no it is not a b c no it is not is this palindrome b yes it is palindrome because single character is a palindrome a a is palindrome yes it is because if you read from here it is a a if here then also it is a a so if you can read from both the ways and if the string is same then it is a palindrome string now this string looks little smaller you can have a very big string like maybe you may have 10000 characters in that or even more than that now it's your job to find out whether that string is palindrome or not how do you go about it how do you actually decide what to check i already told you when these two are similar so first from the back and first from the beginning are same then only you will go ahead and then you will check these two if they are same then only you will go further now you can see that if your string is like a b a b a b a b a then is this palindrome yes it is palindrome we compare this guy with this guy and then if they are equal then we'll go for these two if they are equal then we'll go for these two if they are equal we'll go for these two and this is middle one which is like whatever it is doesn't really matter you can put c also d also k also it will still be a palindrome doesn't matter okay so i already told you the logic how would you apply this now so first thing first you only have to go till the half of this string okay so you want to compare this with this right so it is one comparison and then you want to compare this with this it is two two comparison and then you're done so the length of this string is 5 so 5 divided by 2 it's like 2.5 so it is 2 okay so you have at max two comparison to find out whether this string is palindrome or not so let's just increase this number here so we have 6 now then you will compare these two also okay so now if you have 6 6 divided by 2 answer is 3 so before answer was 2.5 so i just removed this 0.5 from here we we had this two comparison now we have exact 3 so we will have three comparison see we have to compare these two also so you see that we have to compare exactly half so your while loop or for loop whatever loop you will use it will go for the half of the length of this okay and then you have to check here and here so first you will check with zeroth element with the last one and then you will move ahead you will come to this guy and then the second last okay so this is the trick you will keep on going ahead from here and then coming back from here let's see how we'll do that so this is your string s so this is the string array we are passing this string array s into this is palindrome function and this will return bool meaning either yes or no and see i have this for loop from 0 and then it is going till length divided by 2 i told you right we have to go for the half so i just took this length of this str 
I mean string and then length divided by 2 will be the maximum you have to traverse in order to find out whether it is palindrome or not. And while we are traversing, we have to see this i. We'll keep incrementing this i. So initially this i is going to be at 0th location and then s is, I mean the second number is going to be at the length minus i because we have to keep decrementing this also, right? So we have to this, we have to make this uh, minus i here so that dynamically it will come back from this direction to this direction and then minus 1 because length is like it will give you 5 here. I mean if this is the string but your indexing start with 0 so you have to make 1 minus in order to reach this guy. Okay so this minus 1 is for that. So length is like 5, 5 minus 0, minus 0, minus 1. We have this 4 here so this is like 1, 2, 3 and 4, fourth index so we are pointing at this one. So is this equal to this one? I mean if this is not equal to this one, if this is not equal to this one, maybe let's suppose it is C, then yeah, it cannot be palindrome, right? Then we'll just simply return from here. No need to go further. We will return from here. So it is well optimized that if in between in traverse, let's suppose you have a very big string, you have a v so many numbers and let's suppose you was comparing these two till here to here, everything was fine. But when you was actually comparing these two, you found that, okay, this is not equal, meaning it is not palindrome. No need to check further because you have already found that this is not a palindrome string. So you just return from there. If you happen to complete this whole loop, meaning you was able to go till the half of this string, meaning to this guy, if you was able to reach to this guy without hitting this false, then you will automatically break from this loop and you have to return this true because you know that, okay, if I did not hit this false and I successfully traverse the half position or half length of this string meaning it is palindrome. It was nice video right? Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos and don't forget to hit the like button guys. It helps a lot.